All right, uh, good evening or good morning or good afternoon, depending on what time of day it is where you are at. Uh, this is kind of part two of an introduction to some of the basic tools and equipment you will need to assemble your metal and plastic miniatures for Warhammer 40,000. Um, next up, we'll be taking a look at uh, miniature files. These are used mostly for your metal miniatures to take off mold lines in that process are a little bit tougher to remove um, than the plastic mold lines so you're going to want to get some metal miniature files uh, white glue uh, craft glue, Elmer's glue kind of stuff then super glue, we'll be looking at two different types of super glue and then plastic cement um, this one is manufactured by testers uh, so let's begin. Okay, first up are the metal files. These will be used for filing the flash and extra trim off of your metal miniatures. Uh, now the ones on the left here, these are the official Games Workshop metal files. These I got, I believe, at Home Depot. Both sets are retailing for about 10 to 15. Um, anyway, this set, uh, I haven't tried them out, but as you can see, there's a larger variety. You just want to look for metal files that have very narrow spaces on the files themselves. That will give you a smoother finish. Um, these are the ones I've been using so far. I'm going to kind of uh, use those until they die. But um, they have three different shapes. You've got uh, a flat shape. That's what uh, most of your work will be on, on your large surfaces. You've got a round one that's kind of tapered there at the end for those hard to reach spots and for areas that are flowing and curved like your cloaks. And then there is uh, a triangular shaped uh, file that is good for um, smaller areas. Uh, it's a little bit more narrow as you can see. Um, than the standard flat edge and um, it also has plenty of uses particularly on larger flat areas that are more narrow uh, you can really go to town with this poppy so let's take a look at uh, how to use these guys okay right away you're gonna see on this piece here fresh out of the mold we have a rather nice large mold line right there um, what we're gonna do on this particular piece is use our flat file and we are going to go to town on it and uh, as Ice Cube would say you can do it, put your back into it, don't be uh, shy with your with your metal, you don't want to be overzealous lest you destroy all detail but you really do want to put a little bit of effort into it, stopping occasionally to check you'll notice that the color is kind of paler or washed out at the bottom that's the raw metal the other side as you file down becomes shiny um, and then uh, as you stop and check it you'll notice the line begins to disappear uh, if it's you know edged or round on the edges you want to make sure that you smooth your edges there so that when you paint it it doesn't show up as these kind of weird lines kind of overhanging the barrels um, but eventually as you go down your your line is going to slowly but surely disappear and when you paint this poppy, it's going to end up being very smooth looking, which is what you want. You see that right there? That is a sprue of plastic chaos cuties. Do not use metal files for your plastic. What you want to do is get a fine grit sandpaper available at hobby shops. So if you see this, don't use this. Grab some sandpaper, fine grit, 220 count. If you've got huge areas with massive mole lines, you might want to get like an 80 or 100 count grit. 220 gives you that nice smooth finish so that it blends everything perfectly.